So you won the Global Championship. What was that experience like and how do you bring in that experience into my team? It's a cool experience last year with Global because you actually got to fly out to Los Angeles. So um, it was on a big stage, a lot of people there. And so just being there, I feel like the nerves and all of that, um, like I said, the more experiences you get like that, like this. And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. He stays working and stays true. David, thank you. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting line. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Boss is out there with Ball, and it's Bridges in at the three, the small forward. And for Portland, Nurkic is out there with Anthony. Then it's Robert Covington. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Trent in at the two. Here's Trent. Back to Lillard from the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Have to get out on this. When Lillard feels comfortable pulling, he's dead. Ball to pass to Bucks. And there's the pass to Washington. Zeller trying to free himself up. And now Portland on the break. Here's Trent up and in on the left. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. Alert against Ball. Pass to Boss. Out left to the wing. Here's Bridges. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. It's exciting watching Bridges continue to grow. This guy has a hunger to keep getting better. Many of these days, you need versatile defenders. Uh, in your opinion, who does the best job of guarding uh, from point guard to center in the NBA? Oh, uh, you got Kawhi, you got AD. I would add Paul George in the mix. Sure. I would add Patrick Beverly in the mix. I would add PJ Tucker, guys who can play multiple defender positions. Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley, I would add him in there. You notice most of them on the same team, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of daylight on that show. This is why you can't afford to leave someone when Lillard has the ball. Washington in zone. Offered by Lillard, and that one is good. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Oh, yeah, difficult finish, but if you expected him to back down, to think again. Now, here's Lillard. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Milwaukee. Yeah, and don't forget about his pass. He didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. This is why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy. Gotta love it. Now, here's Bridges. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Shot clock at five. Let's it go from 14. Here's Zeller, and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And the work ethic of Zeller. Now, that's what makes him dangerous when scoping out opportunities on the offensive glass. Pass to Nurkic. With the growth of the G League guys, some have predicted the NBA will eventually expand the draft to more than two rounds and more players NBA ready. Good or bad? Well, it's funny because the Players Association would say they don't want it to expand. Exactly. They want it to be because they want guys to have the choice to choose where they want to go. Right. Um, I think three rounds is necessary. There's too many basketball Junior players really. overseas now yeah. that are infiltrated into the system. Uh, to give an opportunity, I think three rounds. Of and the all the other reason why I think I agree is because back in the day, the second round wasn't guaranteed. Yeah. Now, basically, you all get guaranteed contracts in the second round, and so I think now you push that to the third round, right? And you make that to make good round. Now here's Lillard. Not a lot of room. Lillard again missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Ball with the bucket. 